Hello world, this is Sparky, aka Kilo Delta 9 Lima Victor Radio, and I wanted to make another video um, in regards to that inverted L antenna that I put up this morning. I wanted to show you here on the ICOM IC7300 um, how well it's working. But uh, before I do that, I should explain to my viewers uh, what happened to my Yaesu FT990. Um, about a week or so after I got my license, it just stopped working. And while it's still an ongoing process, uh, my brother is still working on it, on it. We're still trying to get back up and running, but uh, every time he's, we think we got to figure it out, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's still not working. So hopefully I'm able to get the FT990 back up and running, but if not, well, I have this now, the ICOM IC7300, which I've had for you know, a couple days now. Um, really haven't had much of a chance to, you know, get on the air with it. Well, obviously, yesterday with my uh, original antenna going down, you know, plus work and stuff, I think I've only made one contact, and that was with, um, I think it was Kilo 8 Alpha X-Ray X-Ray, if I remember correctly, from Ohio. So, yeah, things have been kind of <laughs> slow um, ham radio-wise, but uh, hopefully things will pick up a little bit, um, especially after holidays, because uh, obviously work is getting really busy now. But anyhow, enough with the blabbing. Let's uh, turn the radio on. As you all know, this thing has a really nice uh, touchscreen display. And, uh, oh, I guess that um, contest is still going on. I don't know how well it's showing up on here. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, we've got uh, 40 meters on here. And uh, there's a contest going on. I'm assuming that's until uh, uh, 6 o'clock local time, which would be, you know, 0000 UTC. So once that uh, comes to an end, the band should quiet down a bit. Maybe I'll try it getting on the air, but um, my antenna um, surprise is surprising the heck out of me. It actually tunes up on 80 meters, whereas my fan dipole, well surprisingly enough, um, it didn't tune up on 80 meters. The fan dipole would tune up on um, 40. Um, surprisingly enough, it wouldn't tune up on 20, but it would on um, 17 and uh, 10 meters, which to me, in some ways, surprised me, but uh, that, that's, you know, that's all in the past that the antenna is gone, and now we have the inverted L. And obviously, as you can tell from the band scope, um, receiving, I'm picking up a lot of stuff. And um, I would like to try tuning up with this, you know, just doing a manual tune with the tuner button, but with the contest going on, there's so many signals up and down the band, and I don't want to, you know, tune over someone. So, um, here, let's try something. Let's go down to 80 meters. Uh, this right here, uh, oh, it's not really showing up well on this screen, but right here, um, this is interference from, uh, from my mom's TV. But... Let's tune right here. Okay, we're on 3940. And, um, I just turned the tuner off. Um, let's see here. I don't know how well it's going to show up on the screen, but, um, oh, there's somebody close by. Uh, let's go down to 393950. There we go. Now, so I can do a, a quick test and hopefully not interfere with anybody. Um, the SWR is going to be this one right here, so keep an eye on that. Hopefully, you can see what it looks like. Testing 1, 2, 3. Testing 1, 2, 3. Testing 1, 2, 3. This is Kilo Delta 9 Lima Victor Radio. Now, I don't know if you saw that or not, but on this right here, um, the SWR, the highest it got was... Um, two to five SWR and let me just double check here okay yeah I'm at a at hundred watts that surprises the heck out of me you know without a tuner I'm getting 
I'm getting that for an SWR. Now let's uh, tune it up real quick. Okay, so now the antenna is tuned up, so let's do a quick test. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4. This is Kilo Delta 9 Lima Victor Radio. Testing 1, 2, 3. Kilo Delta 9 Lima Victor Radio. Clear. Oh, and I hear some, somebody from up land. So it's a good thing I have. I stopped the testing. But obviously, as you can tell on the SWR meter here, well, the tuner did its job. It was, you know, I don't even think it even uh, moved across the the scale. So, so far, so good. Um, I'm quite pleased with how the the inverted L is uh, working. Um, obviously, to really push through its paces, I'm going to have to wait until next weekend. Well, maybe I actually can get on the air a little bit on Thanksgiving. That's right, I forgot about that Thanksgiving this, this week. So I might get a chance, you know, sometime this week to really put the radio through its paces and see how well um, the antenna is working. But uh, so far, I'm pleased with the results. Is this, is the inverted L, is this going to be, you know, a lean mean DX machine? Or is this going to be, you know, more local within a couple hundred miles? Who knows? We'll find out for sure. Because right now, as it is, you know... I'm just fine with, you know, local contacts within a couple hundred miles. I'm not really chasing DX from, you know, like foreign countries and stuff like that. Maybe as time goes on, I'll start getting into that. But for right now, this is what I'm looking to do with my radio. So anyhow, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And as always, peace and all that good stuff.